Well, we all saw this coming. Since Gabriel Zamora released his apology video outing Manny MUA, Manny MUA just released his apology video in which he apologizes to not only Gabriel Zamora, but also Jeffree Star and Patrick Star. And there's a lot to unpack from this and there's so many lessons that all of us can learn about friendships and relationships as a whole. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, I got a surprise for you. I'm not a drama channel, I am a mental health channel. My sole purpose with my channel is to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. So sometimes I like to pull from what's going on in pop culture like the YouTube community and all this drama going on in the beauty community and see what lessons that we can learn to implement into our own lives to improve our mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, because I make a ton of videos. So I'm not going to catch you up to speed on everything that's been going on. I will link some videos in the info card. There's some backstory to all of this. But anyways, Manny MUA just released his apology video. And I want to talk about how I'm Manny MUA, and you might be Manny MUA. Well, I used to be Manny MUA, all right? So in Manny's apology video, which is meh, about 25 minutes or so, he talks about what's going on and his friendships and things like that. And there's a few lessons to learn from this. The first one is, the first one that I want you all to kind of realize because, man, I, I can relate to this. I was so selfish and self-centered and everything like that. And like, Manny kind of had this realization and it was pointed out to him from Gabriel as well as a lot of other people in the community. Like, Manny is the common denominator right? And I truly believe that Manny was completely oblivious to this. So many of us do this. I keep dating the wrong people. Or I keep having terrible friends. Why do I keep having terrible friends? Every job I get is awful. Like, you have to sit back and ask yourself for a second, like, what is the one thing that's happening here? Like, because so many of us, we feel so self-righteous and we think that we're always right and things like that. And sometimes we need to point, have people point it out to us and say, yo, you might be the problem, you know? Like, there's a saying out there, if everybody around you is constantly being an a-hole, like, maybe you gotta reevaluate things and say, maybe you're the a-hole, all right? I try to keep this thing family friendly for all of you. But I, I think that's a good self-realization to have. So I want you to kind of address your situations that are these repetitive situations and say like, wait, what am I doing? What, where's my part in this, okay? but. Kind of as a broader scope of this video and the topic I really wanna talk about is Manny talks a lot about how he hates conflict. He avoids conflict and confrontation and hi, I can relate to that. Like I absolutely hated conflict and hated confrontation. Now, I'm not gonna let Manny off the hook completely because something that he didn't address, but I hope I can explain it to you a little bit better when getting into our mental health and the human psyche, is he didn't address all the smack he was talking about, about Jeffrey behind Jeffrey's back. You know, Gabriel talked about that in his videos. Like Gabriel said, like he was putting out in the open, like he thought he was sticking up for his friends because all these people are talking all this smack about Jeffrey, right? Well. I don't think he addressed it because I don't think he, I think he still has a lot of soul searching to do. Like he mentions that he's taking a break and he's gotta figure this stuff out. So if you're somebody who avoids conflict, like here's the thing, I get it, I get it. Like conflict makes people uncomfortable. We don't like to do it, especially if we're people pleasers and we want everybody to like us. So sometimes what we do is, is we avoid conflict and sometimes we ghost on people. Like, have you ever been ghosted by a man or a woman? Chances are that person is avoiding conflict, they are avoiding confrontation. They're, they're trying to just do this in the best way that they know how, but like this isn't healthy because what we're seeing happen to Manny is that he has avoided conflict for so long that it has come to this head and now he is losing so many subscribers, so many people he sh think he's shady, so many people think he's manipulative. And yes, he is all of these things, but it's all coming from him avoiding a little bit of uncomfortability, and now he's seeing all the repercussions from it. And I want you to ask yourself that. When you're avoiding all this conflict, like what's the end result? Is it hurting you or is it helping you, right? Is it hurting your relationships or helping your relationships? Is it hurting or helping your emotional resiliency? Like I had to really look at this, like I, 
was just sharing with some people like, I had my first panic attack because I was avoiding conflict. Because what happens is all these feelings and emotions, they build up inside of you. And for me, it resulted in a legitimate panic attack. And I had to open up to my friends and tell them how I was feeling, how I felt wronged by them. And we had to have a conversation because a lot of us are afraid that if we do have this confrontation, especially with people close to us, whether it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, son, daughter, friends, uh, coworkers or whatever, we're afraid, our fear is that if we have this confrontation with them, that they're gonna hate us forever, that they're gonna leave us forever, right? Some of us do this with our children, right? We spoil our kids, we let them get away with everything because we have this fear that our child will no longer love us if we don't give them everything that they want. And that's not healthy for a kid. It's not healthy at all, but it's also not healthy for relationships. So my suggestion for you, if you're somebody who avoids conflict, first of all, learn from this. Take this as a learning experience. You gotta talk to people, you gotta communicate. And like, man, we're really gonna see over time with Manny if he works on this, hopefully he takes this time off and really does reflect. Hopefully he gets a therapist like you guys. Like, I'm gonna provide a link like I always do down in the description in the comments for better help. Like, your mental health is so much more than just depression and anxiety. You might be struggling with relationships with other people and avoiding conflict. It's not healthy and Manny is a perfect example of what happens, right? So, going back, to him talking all this smack about Jeffrey behind his back with his friends and stuff. What's happening is, is when you're avoiding conflict and you're stuffing everything inside, like, your pride and your ego comes out to play, right? How they wronged you, how they hurt you, how they didn't even acknowledge this, they didn't address, uh, address this, they didn't apologize to you, right? So what do you do? You want people on your side, you want people to agree with that voice in your head. So you go and you talk to your friends. You start gossiping about them. You start talking smack behind their backs and all these other things. So now while you didn't intend to be this person, because like Manny says, he still loves and cares about Jeffrey and Patrick and Gabriel and stuff like that. Like, while he, that wasn't his intention, because he wasn't addressing these things when they were at a smaller scale, they built up and they came out as him gossiping and talking all this trash behind people's back. But that's why you gotta address these things with their small. So with your friends, with your family members, with your spouse, with your significant other, who, with your children, whoever it is, start talking about these things when they're small. Like my girlfriend and I, we have a very healthy relationship. I think we've been in like one, maybe two fights in almost two years. And it's because something I work on very, very, very much so is addressing things when they're small. And sometimes I'm complaining about stupid stuff same on her end, but I can honestly say, like I can think back to one of our fights where it was because I was letting something bottle up because I didn't wanna, uh, you know, I didn't wanna address the situation. I was avoiding the conflict and stuff like that. And I let it blow up. I looked like a crazy person. And then we sat down and talked and like, you know, and she's like, why didn't you just bring this up? You know, like, like she loves me and cares about me and we could have dealt with it when it got, when it was there. You know what I mean? So like, I, I'm still a work in progress and like I like I make these videos just so you can like look at these because we watch these videos in such a passive way and we wanna look at the drama, we wanna look and we wanna judge other people and stuff, but what are you doing in your life? You're probably, you are probably watching all of this drama going on in the beauty community and you have the same exact thing going on in your life when you turn off YouTube. You have the same thing going on with your best friend. You have the same thing going on with family members that you haven't talked to in forever. Like what can you learn from this stuff, all right? The last thing I I kind of want to address because I don't know I, I I to stay in the know I kind of been watching a lot of drama channels and stuff and like I don't know like I don't think we're we as an audience are entitled to know anything about what goes on behind behind closed doors but what happens is our nature to feel you know right you know to feel uh you know uh get you know get people on our side we, we make this thing public you know so like but i don't know like if they mend their relationships i don't think we need a documentary about how jeffrey and manny like repair their relationship like if they want to put it out there but like if they do put it out there i hope it's for a learning experience but i don't think that we have the right to know you know what i mean but i make these videos because they put it out there so it gives me something to talk about and hopefully teach all of you you know what i mean so here's what i want to do for the end of this video down in the comments below let me know how are you 
with avoiding conflict? Like, do you address conflict? Do you talk to people about what you're feeling? Do you, do you nip it in the butt like right then and there? Or do you let things build up inside to a point where you explode and have you seen any repercussions from it? All right, let's get a conversation going down below. Let's learn from each other and support each other and all that kind of good stuff. All right, but that's all I got for you. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I'm just trying to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. So how about you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, you're all beautiful. And if you would like to help support the channel as well, there's a little Patreon link right there. All right, thank you so, so much for watching. Address your conflict today, and I'll see you next time.